reconciliation with Oshomole impossible unless initiated by him, Idahosa said. A former political advisor to Comrade Adams Oshomole and one-time commissioner for information in Edo State, Mr. Charles Idahosa, on Friday said that reconciling the faction of the Edo All Progressive Congress, APC, which later joined the People's Democratic Party, PDP, with Oshomole, is becoming more impossible unless the former APC national chairman initiated such a move. Idahosa, who stated this while speaking with journalists in his Beni home ahead of his 68th birthday anniversary on September 22, noted that the brutal way Oshomole executed his onslaught against Governor Godwin Obaseki while he was seeking a second term under the APC. Before moving to the PDP had made it practically impossible for any meaningful reconciliation unless the former Labour leader to the initiative. The PDP chieftain who pointed out that he joined others to fight Oshomole so that Obaseki could get a second term added that this position then was not informed by hatred for Oshomole or love for Obaseki but a decision I took for the dignity of the Edo nation. I personally not happy because of the whole thing. I am bitter about Oshomole because he knew how we fought the late chief Anin, Anini who was playing the godfather for Oshomole himself to now wanted to be another godfather is what I could not stand. So the whole issue is that is so the whole issue is not about personal thing but they preserved the dignity of the Edo nation. I lead the fight because we cannot deliver ourselves from Anini Godfather Godfatherism to now join Oshomole's Godfatherism. If that had happened, Edo nation would have been in slavery. Idahusa posited by describing Oshomole as a nice person. On a personal level, Ida also added that the former APC national chairman lost it when he allowed those who could not tell him the truth because of what they wanted to gain to, to become his advisors, pointing out the at while labor leader ignored all the piece of advice he offered so that he could distinguish himself from the hypocrisy of selfish politicians. He retreated that Governor Basaki had the utmost respect for Comrade Oshevale, pointing out that the brutal manner the former governor fought is misunderstanding, with Obaseki culminating in the altar of the governor from the APC in spite of the directive by the presidency to Oshevale to ensure the governor's second time led to the bitterness and that characterized the last politicking in the state. The former commissioner added that he felt personally betrayed that Oshomole could devoke a personal con discussion they both held on his Idahosa's medical needs at a time to a third party who then made it a media issue. Adding that even at that, if he should have a chance encounter with Oshomole, the issue would be resolved as, as what transpired between him and the other former national chairman was purely to preserve the dignity of the Edo people. The Edo South PDP leader noted that those who followed Obaseki from the APC to the PDP as the heat of the political crisis between the governor and his processors, they did so without crossing out his, dotting out his hands. We are stranded in the PDP. We said it had concluded its congress is congresses before we came and it is for four years. He however expressed hope that the whole mistrust in the Edo PDP would be resolved as a committee to handle such had been inaugurated ruling out true possibility of Governor Basaki going back to the APC. I was sufficiently close to him during the negotiation. I can't tell you that he never made any commitments to anybody that he would go back to APC. Even me, I have asked him if he would go back to where 
we are coming from and he categorically said that was not an option idahosa asserted on the security challenges controlling the state he said that the security situation in the true country had drafted whatever achievements the Buhari administration might have recorded saying that insecurity had become the arbitrage of the government of President Buhari, while noting that Buhari had made some remarkable achievements in some sectors of the nation's economy. He stressed that President should not be judged based on insecurity alone. Nigerians will not be fair to the administration if it is judged based on insecurity. Buhari, as far as I am concerned, may not be the best, but a lot of things have happened since he came. But he is being judged based on insecurity i know what he has out into the nigerian railway and what he has been doing the nigerian railway has improved he has tried in that sector he has tried in other infrastructure like roads and some others but insecurity is just overshadowing all the good things that he is doing he said speaking on the issue of indigenous people of biafra ipop idahosa said the agitators had only succeeded in crippling the economy of the South East state. According to him, it is not IPOP that the people are supporting. They are just afraid of the destruction of their properties or being killed, not that they believe in IPOP. <laughs> Namdukano was not born during the Nigerian Civil War. He, so he does not know what is called war i saw war because i was between 15 to 16 years during the civil war i know what war is you can't see anything person you can't see any person of my age group calling for war it also observed okay um you have said what you have to say but in the case of ipop i will ask you to stay off it because you know nothing because you are sounding like a broken record if you want me to tell you. Yeah, we all know that Oshomola is the kind of man who doesn't control or bridle his tongue. But you coming out to say all this is unheard of. I thought they said men don't gossip like women. So I don't know why you are making it look as if Oshomola offended. Fine, if Oshomola has done, what is the big deal if the both of you should settle your reconciliation? Why are you saying, or what, of, what is the big deal the both of you think about reconciling? So why are you say you are waiting for shomole to come if he comes to apologize then you will accept his apology but if he doesn't then reconciliation is a no no then i will say you are an hypocrite if you have anything to say say it directly don't say anything concerning what you don't know yes you might not have experienced what is happening in the northern part of the country that is why you are saying all this trash you're saying that buhari has achieved so many things but we all is they said one bad egg destroy others haven't you heard that comment or that statement before so uh, or don't you know that when you have done something good and you've done a bad thing again people forget about the good thing you've done and they focus on the bad one you have done so what is the problem if you focus all your strength in doing the goods alone so keep your comments to yourself because all this one you're talking about ipop you are just looking for trouble let a sleepy dog lie well you can hit the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening